What's up my red brothers and sisters? This has been a very traumatic few days and I just have to give my point of what's happened and why it should never happen in the first place. But I have to say kudos to Johnny Henry because he's come out, he's made a mistake and he's humbly apologised. For doing something that he should never ever have done in the first place. And join a, a very proposed dumb European Super League. Without consulting us as honest loyal Liverpool fans. And I felt so disgusted. So angry. That I couldn't bear to see my club. Go down the drain with the tradition history it has, winning cups, winning lots of trophies, winning European titles, winning pre for our first Premier League Championship last year. To nearly get it thrown down the drain by an owner who was over eager and over zealous and had to come out today and humbly apologise, which I have accepted, of course, but it's going to take a long time before. He gets back in our good books. And hopefully he can do everything he can to do that. But at the moment, after all what's happened with other clubs, the big six, as we say ourselves, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City, Man United and Tottenham, all doing the wrong thing. And they have to pull out as well. The European Super League is... Dead. Finished. Let me say it. Finished. It will never be dug up again. They'll try in a few years, but it will never come back. Never. Football fans have been screwed. Use as jokes. And as far as I'm concerned, we should never be dragged down this gun in the first place. This... Owners of those clubs should be very, very responsible for their actions. They've just done it now, but they were irresponsible for what they did. And it's going to be some time for the clubs mentioned to have their trust as well. It should not have happened. I was very disappointed, angry, upset. And so were other red brothers and sisters. It should not have happened. Even the fans of the other clubs I mentioned. They are disgusted. And obviously protests outside stadiums. It had to happen. It's just a shame. That the fans, the players and the managers involved. Have had to be dragged into a situation that they were never involved in. It's just stupid. The others did, and hope and kudos to Arsenal for, for apologising, and certainly kudos to Chelsea for doing it as well because it was wrong. They knew it was wrong, and they did the right thing. It's going to take some time for those clubs, the big six, to get trust back from the owners. But I'm glad for one thing that John Henry came out and did what he did. He was forced to and had a face of resignation disappointment. But we have to force that. So thanks to, to us, the fans, the players, <coughs> Jurgen Klopp and his staff. <coughs> Another other walk of life from <coughs> our government. To, all, to other authorities, all that were had to be dragged into this situation. But in the end, I have to say, justice has been done. And this European Super League crap is all, it's all for nothing. It's all over now. There is no way. 
that it could come back to the surface. Not after this baloney. And, 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 and everything that we fought for so many years to be a top club knew was put down the drain by an all that look very look selfish thinking about himself and greed but finally came to his senses and did the right thing not just for our club but for football in general he needs to remember tradition and history and finally it got into his head that was the most important thing so I thank you John Henry for your, for your apology but like I said it's going to take some time for us as fans to trust you again we trust Jurgen Klopp we trust the players because they were hooked to all this they did nothing wrong. It's just a shame that they were, let's say, puppets in a situation that was never going to get off the ground. And I'm glad that it's in the gutter. As far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, it's in the gutter forever. Players like Bobby Firmino. Now, this is a player that really tries his heart out. And so does the other players that are on that pitch. The busted gut every day to try and get a result. Win, lose or draw. And that's what we need. That's what I like to see. Not outside of activity, activities like we saw the last few days. that have been border dashed as far as I'm concerned. And nearly ruined my incompetent behaviour for an owner that should really know better money, he's got a lot of money yes, but he really should have known better to let us know first and not be dragged into a situation where he was never going to win the only winners here are the fans the players and those who've got, who've got involved to stop a certain disaster waiting to happen so, once again, thank you, John Henry, for making the right decision at the right time to pull out. And hopefully, you don't ever go behind our backs again or get involved in other projects that, that are nothing to do with football. Because you only damage your reputation again. And we, and we just turn it by, by our backs on you. All the fans will will. Simple as. We can't have this again. You can't let it happen, John. Just, just hear me out. You, you, you can't do it again. Simple as. If you're going to help us out, make sure if you buy the right players to make our club better again. And if you can... We will trust you again. But for now, we just have to take every step until you finally give us something to be happy about. And to the rest of the fans, the rest of the poor fans, if you strong, we vocal all this, guys, you will never walk alone. And thank, thank you for getting together with obviously other fans of the Big Six that voiced their disapproval of such a, of a bad proposal and got it thrown out, forcing other owners to back down. Thank you, everyone. Our job is done. And justice has definitely been served. <laughs>